morning, everybody. Make some noise. Yeah. It's time for Eco Summit Stockholm, our first conference in this beautiful city. We are very grateful and very happy to be here. And we are especially happy that you all came to be part of it. Thank you very much for joining us. EcoSummit accelerates smart green startups, investors and corporates in Berlin, Amsterdam, Stockholm, London and Paris. And we are, record we are recording this conference for EcoSummit TV, our very famous uh, YouTube channel, on which you can already find 750 videos of uh, people that uh, spoke at our events in the past, including many, many startups and many, many investors. Smart green unicorns made in Europe. This is our motivation why we are organizing EcoSummit. It's our mission. I think together with everybody in the room and the people not in the room, we have to work together and co-invest together to build really big startups. As you probably know, a unicorn is a billion dollar valuation startup company, quite a big one. Um, there is a French one called Blablacar, you may know that, but uh, there are not many um, smart green unicorns uh, made in Europe already, but we are working very hard on it to make it happen. And you know um, bamboo, as you can see, we like bamboo. It's a fast-growing plant, and that is what you have to be. You have to be a fast-growing startup if you want to become a unicorn. And if you want to outcompete your competitors, uh, if you want to find many customers, think uh, about uh, behaving like a bamboo plant here and there. It will help you. An important moment in my opening presentation, a big uh, public thank you to all of our sponsors, in total nine uh, great organizations, starting with the Swedish Energy Agency, and then Stockholm, the capital of Scandinavia, Vattenfall, a big utility, I understand. NASDAQ, Shell, especially Shell Technology Ventures. We have uh, Germain in the house. Um, Inu Energy, Ineco Group from the Netherlands, Germany Trade and Invest, and Stadkraft from Norway. A big round of applause to all our sponsors. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> our European tour continues. We go to London on the 22nd of November. Um, this will already be our fifth event in London, so um, it will happen at LSO St. Luke's. Um, LSO stands for London Symphony Orchestra, and it used to be a church, so I want to see many of you again in London because we have a church to fill. Eco Summit Paris, for the first time, we organize it uh, on the 6th of March next year at BPI France Le Up. I think the French market is also an important target market for many Scandinavian startups. So again, I hope to see a couple of uh, you guys pitching in Paris too. Our flagship event, actually the biggest event we do is uh, the Eco Summit in Berlin, around 250 plus participants, and we are going to do our ninth edition uh, next year in May, on the 8th and 9th of May at the famous Radial System, and we are going to run this uh, fantastic solar electric boat, the Suncat 46, during the conference. And we will do for the first time an industry-focused event uh, for all the mobility people in the house. This is going to be exciting because we think it makes sense to organize a big event focused on one industry. As you know, cleantech uh, encompasses and includes many industries. But this one is a new vertical industry-focused uh, strategy, the EcoSummit Mobility. Um, the date is not yet defined. We are working on it, but you can already remember that EcoSummit Mobility is going to happen. And I want to explain a little, a little bit more about our strategy, which is actually an ecosystem strategy. We want to change and evolve our business into new directions. We want to start a co-working space in Berlin. We want to help a few startups, very selected startups, with a special service uh, that we call fundraising advisory, helping you um, make your next funding round a better one with the more term sheets on the table. As you know, the term sheet is the investment offer from a specific investor who wants to become a shareholder. That's what people call term sheet. And there are all kinds of important terms in it. That's why it's called term sheet. 
And then eventually we also want to raise an accelerator fund. I'll tell you more about it in a second. I think um, smart green companies should be in Berlin and uh, because Berlin, of course, is the capital of a very large market in Europe and I think there are already a lot of activities happening between Swedish players and uh, German players, especially to work on this connection, the fast lane into the German market. And if you want to be uh, on the fast lane into the German market, um, we invite you to, um, to rent an office in our EcoSummit hub. It's not yet online, that is um, the bad news because we are still looking for a location, but the good news is we are actually working very hard on it to make this happen, create an, a co-working space focused on smart green companies. This is the important message. This is a little bit how it will look like, uh, public areas, private areas, and of course, uh, social areas where we run a lot of um, events and uh, we can also uh, hopefully do pitches in the sauna um, because I think uh, relaxation after a hard working day is a good idea in every country. And uh, <clears throat> if you are raising money, if you are a startup, and I understand there are many startups in the room, you should have a, not only a fundraising strategy, but a growth strategy because the investors really like companies that are growing fast. If you grow with a 30% per year, I think it's slow. But if you grow with 100% uh, per year, and this is actually me measuring the revenues, not only the amount of uh, employees you have, but uh, really the revenues are important. So if you grow with 100% per year, you are a fast company. And I think you should uh, communicate your growth rate, hopefully if it is positive, yeah, to um, <coughs> investors because this is uh, the key um, performance indicator, the most important KPI that investors are looking for, revenues and growth. And I think you, you should think your ambitious growth strategy with a fundraising strategy. And some startups, uh, they are raising too much money. They are selling off their company too quickly at a low valuation. So you, sh you should uh, plan ahead very carefully and you know, should know your burn rate, the money you spend every month. You should know your run rate, how far can you get with the money that you have. And if you know you only have 12 months left, until you run out of cash, uh, this is a high time when you really have to start working on the next fundraising round. And it is important to, um, to organize a competitive round where you not only have one term sheet on the table, but several investment proposals from investors. And our plan is to help a few of you uh, optimize your next uh, Series A or Series B or a large funding round. Come and talk to me after the event or after my presentation in the next break. I think uh, startups need corporates and corporates need startups. This is a very important message. We have seen many new corporates entering into the venturing business, the corporate venturing business, but also open innovation. Open innovation where it's more about um, the corporate becoming a development partner or maybe a customer or maybe a supplier or maybe a distributor um, for the startup. The EcoSummit Accelerator um, is going to be an early stage fund in the range of 10 million. We still have to raise it. If there is any potential limited partner in the room, a fund investor or even an angel, you can already get started and involved here with a ticket size of 100,000 or going up to 10 million. And uh, I believe there are four success factors um, for every startup. People, product, the people who make the product, capital, I was talking about your, your financing situation and strategy, and then of course customers. And I think every founder in the room, yeah, and, um, of course he or she, or better she and he, should become a really good startup manager, even if it's your first startup, yeah, and work hard to become a really good CEO in the company. And if you feel you are not up for the job anymore, look for a better outside CEO, yeah, but don't lose the vision. And always work on, on these four, success factors, think about them every day, think, work on them with your management team and even all of your employees because if you manage these four things uh, in a smart, green way, then the chances are that you are growing faster. Just a, um, a quick summary of the fundraising strategy for this accelerator fund. 
Um, I mentioned that we are looking for, for tickets uh, between uh, 100K and uh, 2 million. And we want to co-invest. We, we believe very much in the idea of co-investing. It means um, basically that we understand there is not a single investor who can make a company big. So I think over the um, life cycle of a startup company, um, during several funding rounds, you should build a strong syndicate, which means a group of investors that are helping um, and, uh, your company, that are not only giving money, but also providing added value. And then by the time we have raised the 10 million, we are going to invest it. We want to invest it in European startups, not only German startups, but we will help you be successful uh, on the German market. And here's a final thought for you. Let's automate sustainability in every industry. And this was my short opening presentation. Thank you very much for being part of Equisummit Stockholm. <laughs>